This is for Iron Heart. Well, big kids, it's time for your big review. What up, big kids? Here's your big review. The Marvel Universe Masterworks Sentinel, both at San Diego Comic Con 2011, exclusive version, and the retail version with the little Wolverine. All right, let's look at the San Diego Comic Con 2011 packaging first. Comes in this giant suitcase, just like the Galactus did. It says Marvel Universe there, has this really nice picture of Sentinel. It says right here, uh, Quesada 2011, it was, since the artist by Joe Quesada. I really like this picture a lot. It actually has the six X-Men from the X-Men Universe box set. You know, Cyclops, Colossus, uh, Thunderbird, uh, Nightcrawler, uh, Storm, and Wolverine, of course. It's just four enough, requires three AAA batteries included by Hasbro. Both sides of the box says Sentinel right there. Both sides are the exact same and have the San Diego Comic Con uh, logo right there. Once you open up here, <gasps> once you take Sentinel out of the suitcase packaging, he comes in this giant card bag. Freaking huge. Has that really cool Joe Quesada artwork right there. Has two Sentinels, which I really like there. It says Marvel Universe right there. Has the giant sentinel right there and even has a little hole so you can do like a little try me uh, thing if you want there it has sentinel right there it has a uh, x-men logo right there robotic lights and sounds very nice uh it says the batteries included back here has a really cool picture of the sentinel ever getting and says convention series 2011 00110010 it's Bi binary, but whatever. It has a little biography of the Sentinel um, right there. If you want to read about it, just pause right there, but very cool. It has a, a picture of Steve Rogers says, You got it first at Comic Con. Yes, I did. It's a little packaging comparison since Sharon Miss Prime did it. Show you how huge these card backs are side by side. Pretty big. With Fing Fang Foom probably going to be coming in a blister card. This is will probably take one fourth of your wall. It's Freaking huge. Now for the retail packaging. We get a really cool picture of Sentinel right here. Looks like to be the same Joe Quesada art with just Nightcrawler and Wolverine right there. It says Marvel Universe, Sentinel. You also get the Sentinel on the top of the box right here. It has a little shield logo right there on the top too, which is very cool and also Sentinel. When you open up the flap, you see the Wolverine right there next to the Sentinel with a little hole. It says Try Me right there. And you can see the Sentinel with a really cool, uh, like, Kind of destroyed city escape. It's that same cool picture like we get from the front, except now we got Storm and we got another Sentinel right there and um, even another one right there. On the bottom of the box, we have Steve Rogers saying, Collect them all, each sold separately with Wolverine, uh, Apocalypse, uh, Jim Lee, Cyclops, Cable, Gladiator, and uh, Iron Man. On the back of the box, it's a 16 inch Sentinel figure with Wolverine robotic lights, mighty phrases. Fugitive Mutant Detective, X-Men must be detained. Destroy. Oh cool, you got a picture of Nightcrawler and Colossus. Oh, poor Colossus. Has a little bio about the Sentinel. It looks different from the one from the Comic Con, so it's cool. We get two different bios and you want to read this, just pause this, feel free. Here we got both Sentinels, uh, San Diego Comic Con and retail ones in their packaging. Let's see the San Diego Comic Con one is bigger in packaging, especially when you have it in the suitcase box. All right, let's send out these mighty robots to get out the X-Men. Let's open up the Sentinels. All right, let's start with Mr. Logan himself. He's the standard Marvel Universe um, Wolverine we've gotten before in the yellow and black, you know, 90s cartoon, or actually Wolverine the X-Men cartoon, you know. The 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 costume that uh, we, we know and love, you know, it's, the detailing and the paint apps are really nice. I really like uh, the little shading in between. It's muscle detail. The black and blue in the boots. The claws are one bit thing, but they're nice and stiff. That's what she said. <laughs> no, but um, you know the face sculpt is pretty cool. I like it. You know, it's a really nice Wolverine figure. I mean, not that we haven't gotten a million of these, but still, it's nice to include a Wolverine figure. For articulation, Wolverine's head can fully rotate as well as go up and down. Arms fully rotate, they do get hindered by the shoulder pads a little bit. Go in and out, they bend at the elbow as well as rotate at the elbow. Rotate at the wrist. Uh, he does have the upper ab waist joint that goes forward and back, side to side and rotates. He has the little ball joint uh, hips 
that can go in and out, but you have to move them to go forward and back, and they rotate at the, uh, the little joint right there. Bend at two points at the knee, and his ankles can rotate and kind of move forward and back, but not really, so it's okay articulation. But on to the Sentinel, and I absolutely love the head sculpt. Uh, this is the first, the San Diego Comic-Con version, which has been announced at Comic-Con. We will get these colors in a retail version, just like... Um, we did with Galactus. Uh, the head sculpt, I love the dark maroon color and the eyes, the uh, teeth look just absolutely amazing. So much uh, nice paint detailing in those like wiring teeth. Uh, I just absolutely love it. I like the detailing in the shoulders, all the scuffs and everything, which is very cool. They, they could have used some more scuffs on the chest. I like uh, these colors. These colors are more what we're used to from the 90s X-Men cartoons. Um, one thing, I, I do like the orange and yellow blended um, in the middle. I wish the button was just the full triangle instead of just the circle because it seems a little out of place, but that's just me. Uh, uh, six pack on the Sentinel, which is very cool. Um, overall, the legs, uh, big old feet. I like the silver wiring in his legs for um, uh, his feet right there in his uh, gauntlet, or yeah, like the wiring right there is very nice. I really like the paint apps in there, it's very cool. I, I kind of wish it was more spread out, like a little black wash, like the uh, Toy Biz one. I like the hands. The sculpting on here is very nice. Um, it's very much like the Galactus um, body on the torso. There's the speaker where all his phrases will come out. I like this little part. It's like this very rubber torso just like Galactus. So overall uh, the design looks really awesome. Now the retail version or the first retail version is more of a darker purple. It's more purple and silver color scheme. You can see his face instead of being that beige color like the other one. The beige is actually the wiring in this mouth and um, he has just like a darker purple in there which is very nice. Um, you know he has um, Let's see, um, the same color, uh, the front torso. On his right uh, shoulder pad says 00114. So I don't know if it's like January 14th. If, if anyone knows the meaning behind these numbers, let me know in the comments. But you can see here, the silver um, in his arms is very nice. I really love this silver color they use. You can see the wiring is more that beige color, just like in the mouth. It's very nice and you can see it in the feet. You can see them back to back, the differences. Um, you know, of course this one, the San Diego Comic Con one, people might prefer those colors more because it's the colors we're more used to. Uh, but unless you spend the big bucks to get the San Diego Comic Con one and, or get to like I did, uh, you just have to wait till the retail one, which should be coming out around, they said October, November, so not too long. But this one is still great. Uh, the color scheme is still pretty damn awesome. Articulation, of course, these are pretty much the same figures with different color schemes, so they have the same articulation. The head can fully rotate, definitely better than the uh, Toy Biz Builder figure one. And with Charmus Prime said, you can take off the head and make it where it's almost in flying pose, so that's really cool. Uh, the arms can actually fully rotate. These shoulder pads are great because you can move them all the way up. You can have them really, you know, fully out there. You know, they, 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 they go in and out, rotate the bicep, double jointed elbows, which is awesome. I really love that a lot. It rotates at the gauntlet right here as well as rotates at the wrist as well and go in and out. So that's really nice. I wish it did have the finger articulation like the Toy Biz one, but it's so okay. A full uh, waist articulation will it can move left, right, it can't fully rotate, and it's a little, you know, you can see the line, but it's still, it's not too bad. Um, the ball has ball jointed hips, and unlike Galactus, you can spread them really, <laughs> you can spread them really uh, uh, far, and they can go, you just have to move the, the joints so it can move in and out. And then uh, for the back, rotates at the other part of the leg, bends at two points at the knee, which is a very hard joint. And the ankle pivots forward and back, and ankle pivots side to side. So he does have quite a bit of articulation. The big selling point to these Sentinels is the lights and sounds, just like Galactus. And they have really nice light up eyes, and you just press the button right here. They have a bunch of phrases. Um, I forgot how many it does, but both of them have the exact same phrases, the exact same sequence. So let's uh, start off.
Just to show you guys how bright the lights can be. Ooh, scary. Same with this one. Yeah, so they both have bright eyes. Bring it on, you tin cans. I'm the best at what I do, and what I do ain't very nice. Plus, I've been in like five X-Men movies, and you've been in, what, like one second scene or something? So you got nothing. You ain't got nothing. Size comparison time. So here you can see, uh, compared to Marvel Universe Legends figures, these Sentinels are pretty good uh, to scale. It's better to scale the Marvel Universe. It works with Legends, but just like the Marvel Legends Build-A-Figure, uh, it's going to be better with Marvel Universe. Now you can see here, of course, both Sentinels are the you know same figure. So compared to the Toy Biz one, they're actually pretty much the same size. You know, uh, yeah, like maybe just like slightly half an inch bigger. You can see how much bigger it is the Galactus. These are 16 inch figures, so they're really big. Whereas Galactus is a 19 inch figure. So the Marvel Universe Sentinel is an awesome figure, regardless of which one you get. Of course, the San Diego Comic Con one comes in a great blister card, which you definitely wouldn't want to open up. And if you're able to get two like myself, it's great to have those colors. But the, this will be out in the retail one. The retail one is great because not only it's only like, you know, uh, 50 bucks in stores, you get Wolverine, so it's cheaper, of course, and you get a Wolverine. I mean, if you like the silver and stuff, it's definitely a steal. I highly recommend it. I do like the Toy Biz one better with the paint apps and the detail, but I do like uh, the Marvel Universe Hasbro one because it doesn't fall apart. Um, it still has great articulation, and I do love lights and sounds, and you can buy this at retail. Um, for people that are army building, uh, especially that are just getting into Marvel for the first time, this will definitely be easier than buying the Toy Biz one. Um, yeah, I definitely, these are great for army building. Um, you know, I, I w for me, I, w I just want one more of the retail one, just to be in army building. But like I said, I absolutely love this figure. It's one of my favorite San Diego Comic-Con exclusives, and I definitely highly recommend it. For more geek news, reviews, and more, check out BKBN.net. I'm Sean Long, and remember to celebrate your new in a big way. In brightest day, in blackest night. Urban Collector is tight. If you like superhero video game, movie, action figures, replicas, t-shirts, and more, check out Urban Collector. They take all credit cards and PayPal, plus do pre-orders with urban-collector.com. You don't need a power ring to be a superhero, but I think they sell them too. Awesome! Hey kids, Deadpool here. After X-Men First Class, don't you want to see a Deadpool movie? Finally, after that stinking Green Lantern movie, damn you, you Ryan Reynolds, you should have stuck with me, man. You should have just stuck with me because you know what? Kids love me. They buy them all my toys. They're they're always sold out. Look at those Green Lantern toys. They're peg warmers everywhere. No one likes green. They like red and black. They're awesome colors. I think they're the color of Sean Long's high school colors. Anyway, you should definitely uh, get me into another movie because every all the kids love Deadpool. And boom goes the gun.